Good games. Take care. Man, I keep losing. I can't believe it. How can I make Pendulum good again? Oh, this is how. It wasn't good enough to win games. <clears throat> Today, we're going to take a look at the worst Pendulum deck of all time. Subscribe if you like Pendulum, and let's get into the origin of this deck. So it seems this player really had a bad day and created Pendulum Stun. So this is how the list looks like in OCG right now. But I wanted to see how it would translate into Master Duel. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at that. And this is how the list looks like. So let's talk about it. So here we got the awful cards, but sadly they're good in this list. Uh, we have Berry Statue at two to stop the special summoning the fossil dino to stop special summoning we got the amano e Waro, so we can not let our opponent activate any monster effects and we got dimension shifter because pendulum and banishing uh totally a awful combo but if you don't do your pendulum combos it doesn't matter oh boy uh, you got five rainbow magician yet another floodgate because you can search this off of the monkey board Whoa! Oh god, this this deck hurts hurts to do the profile one. So we got the three pendulum sorcerers just to be able to destroy cards on field, so we're able to search. And we have the the wisdom mind, wisdom mind, good in pendulum magician. We got the Skoko Bad Jokers, we got the Double Wire Set 2. Uh, I would want to play 3, however, 2 makes sense mainly because of the fact we don't play Star Pendulum Graph, so it doesn't really matter. We got Triple Purple Poison, because since we're going to be grinding a lot, we're going to have to, uh, you know, use the Purple Magician effect a lot. So yeah, it comes up a lot. And we got the Celestial Magician, so we're able to search this off of the monkey board if we want to Pendulum summon out one of these guys, which is, oh boy, I, I hate this. I hate this so much. So we got the monkey board uh, already explained. We got the Astrograph Sorcerer because it is a Electromite deck. So, you know, you need the Astrograph. We got the tree pendulum calls because of the fact that you can just play Pendulum Magician for a bit realistically. So you could just search two off of this. So we got a uh, Pot of Prosperity, good card. We got the Super Problem Rosation, which is, was in the original list. Uh, this card is just really good for, for like a lot of matchups. We got evenly matched mainly because of the fact that we could just like get rid of our opponent's entire board and then summon the floodgates, which is really funny. We got Solemn Judgment, so we could stop our opponent from interrupting our floodgates. We got Solemn Strike, so our so we could stop our opponent from playing cards. God, this list hurts to make. Uh, we got a uh, Time Pendulum Graph as well because we could search that off of the doors. And no Star Pendulum Graph though. Uh, the extra deck, we got Super Poly Targets right here. We got the, the Time Star because Time Star can just search. We got a Dark Spellcaster, which is really relevant. Oh, uh, we have the Baguska. Baguska comes up a lot. Since if you have a Monoi Water on field, you can summon the Baguska and you're good. Uh, we got Gallant Granite. Uh, so yeah, the Gallant Granite just searches you one of the, the rock monsters that are floodgates. Um, why are they all rock? I don't get it. But yeah, whatever. Uh, we got the Typhon just in case. We got the the usual package of Electromite, IP, Beyond, SP, uh, Exceed, uh, Apollos, and the uh, Access Code. So yeah, that's it for Pendulum Sun. Let's uh let's get into the replays of the games that I have done well in and show you the combos. Combos. Let's get into it. So our opponent decides to go first, and this is what happens. So, they're gonna start off with a Dimension Shifter in hand. Oh god. And they're going to be sending two, which is surprising, but okay. Gonna draw for turn. Okay, we got a Wizard Mind. We're going to normal summon the Amano Iwaro so our opponent cannot use hand traps. We skill a Monkey Board, Monkey Board effect, adding a Celestial Magician. We're gonna skill the Celestial Magician. And then Pendulum Summon for two here, because we wanna keep the Skokobat Joker in hand for next turn. We're able to normal summon it and add a card from deck to hand. So now we're just gonna punch in since I can't activate monster effects either. So here we are going to make the Baguska. Yep. Oh boy, this deck is fun. Oh boy, this deck is really fun. Oh boy. Oh god, Jesus. This deck is so rough. Oh my god. We got a solemn judgment there. They set one. They have nothing for this. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna switch the Baguska to attack. We're gonna normal summon Scorbat Joker. I couldn't activate the effect anyway, but they scooped anyway, so it didn't matter. 
I, I, I actually, let me check what deck that was actually. That was Kashira. That was like the perfect hand for Kashira. That's really funny. Okay, I won the coin toss and I decided to go first. Okay, so our hand looks very rough. If we get Ash Blossom, we just pass turn. So we're going to discard the Super Poly. Our opponent going to Max C. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. They think Max C does something. That's crazy. Okay, we're just going to add the two. We're going to scale the double wires. We're going to scale the, the Pearl Poison. We're going to normal summon the, the Barrier Statue and we pass turn. And we set the time pedal graph as well, Me, you know. Okay, our opponent goes circular. We're just going to destroy the circular in battle phase. Our opponent can't do anything about that. And we're going to draw for turn. So at this point, we just go go back, go go effect, add, yep, the monkey board. And now we go battle phase. We just swing. Pretty much, we got our opponent here in a very rough spot because they they need to out it, which I don't think they can. So... Small world, okay. Oh, they, like, it does have earth monsters, which is really funny. But I don't think they do anything. Okay, we're just gonna, yep, that's, that's game, that's game. Okay, so our opponent decided to go first. And of course, we do the evenly match, which is very nice. Okay, so they're gonna go Fire King Island, destroying the effect later, adding the Okanix. They're gonna go normal summon the Okanix, Okanix effect, destroying the Kirin. Then adding the Garunix. Okay, nice. They're gonna go Kirin effect, chaining two Garunix. Which, uh, if they have another one, then this is really good, but I don't think they do. So they have summon Garunix, Garunix effect, destroying the Arvada, Arvada effect, so they back the Kirin. Then they're going to link two into a Hira. Then they're going to be making the Promethean, I assume. Yep, they're making Promethean Princess. Now, Promethean Princess effect, summoning back the Arvada. And set one and pass turn. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, no, this is perfect. Uh, yep, we just go battle phase. Uh, <laughs> evenly match. Okay, so they kept the Promethean Princess. They're going to maxi here. Okay. Uh, sadly, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter, little bro. That does not matter. Okay. So, right, Fire Rainbow Magician and the Purple Poison. So, here we just... Yep, we just... Set and pass. And they pass, they up, and they lose. Because at that point, they realistically can't do anything. Because they would have to have a set in hand, and at that point, uh, whatever they will summon off of it, they can't do much with it because we're able to solve judgment it. It doesn't really matter. It's just a fun little replay that uh, happened. But yeah, just show off that you could just search the, the fire rate mobilization off of the pendulum call. So, let's get into the next one. Our opponent's going to be going first. And we got the Dimension Shifter in our hand, baby. Let's go. So, they're going to normal summon Mathematician. We're going to be chain link to Dimension Shifter. They're going to go chain link to the out Shadow Fusion. Okay, so we're going against Shadows, which is interesting. So, here, they're going to just, you know, fusion into the Chekinaga. They're going to activate the effect of the Hedgehog in Grave after, after this all resolves. And also, they're going to be sending a Despian Tragedy, so they could just chain link one uh, Hedgehog, chain link two Despian Tragedy. So they get the add of a Luber, and they get the Shadal, Ch you know, the Hedgehog effect to add the Wendy, which is nice. Okay, they're going to pass turn on that because they don't want to play into the Dimension Shifter. Now we're going to draw for a turn. We're just going to we're going to do some dumb stuff here. So here we go, Monkey Board, Monkey Board, adding the Coco Bat Joker, Coco Bat Joker, Normal Summon. Effect adding the pro poison. Now you're going to wisdom eye, wisdom eye effect. We're going to be placing a celestial magician. We're going to be triggering astrograph to summon it off of it, which is very nice. And adding ourselves the wisdom eye. Now we're going to link those two off into a beyond the pendulum so you could just uh, bait, bait out the negate realistically. Which I didn't have to do this, honestly. I uh, I could have just like pedal summoned all these out instead, which I do in the moment. Which is just my mistake, because I, I just didn't think it would destroy. I just forgot it destroyed. That's on me. So yeah, we pen on summon tree. We set the Solemn Judgment. We're going to activate the Solemn Judgment to get rid of that Luber. And... Yep, we just let the Shekinaga go. We don't want them to add the Bandit Fusion at this point. So yeah, we just like we just get rid of that. Okay, so we here, we're going to be placing the Pro Poison to attack. They're going to go... Uh, Super Poly making the Dragostopelia. And now, 
we can finally pendulum summon. So we pendulum summon for one and two, and then our opponent is going to activate the effect of Draco Sepelia to lower the level of the pro poison, which is fair because I could have just made a Baguska at that point. So now we get to do Electromite combos, woo! Since we don't have Astrogaff, we can't go too far with the combos, but we can do some cool stuff with it. So here we go, uh, monkey board, destroying monkey board, adding the monkey board, and then we're gonna activate the monkey board, monkey board effect. I'm saying monkey board a lot, adding the Skogobat Bad Joker. Let's go Bad Joker normal summon. We're adding ourselves a Pendulum Sorcerer. And now, gonna summon the Exceed the Pendulum. Exceed the Pendulum effect, adding ourselves a Pro Poison. And now, we get to summon up the Pendulum Sorcerer. And then we summon the Exoscode. Exoscode effect. Destroy the Jago Sepelia. Then they're gonna summon the Yolobar, which is completely fine. We're just gonna go end phase at that point. And then they're gonna go Polymerization. Gonna fuse those two off into an El Shala window, which doesn't do much here, but it's fine. They're, they just wanna trigger the Hedgehog. They're gonna go Hedgehog, adding our, themselves a Falco. And now they set the Falco. So here, uh, they're gonna attack into our our pillow sorcerer. We're gonna they're just gonna pass turn, and we're gonna draw into a solemn strike. Woo! We're so good at this game. Okay, we're gonna go pendulum call, adding ourselves the two magicians here, and then we're gonna pendulum summon them all out. Here we go, baby! We're just gonna attack into the shadow window. They're gonna trigger the Aluber. Then we're going to be attacking into the Aluber just to get rid of it. And we're gonna go main phase two at this point. We're gonna make a Galen Granite. Galen Granite effect, adding ourselves a Barrier Statue. <laughs> we're gonna be summoning the Barrier Statue and then activating Access Code effect to destroy the Falco so Falco cannot trigger to special summon. It's so good! It's so peak. It's so peak. This deck is so annoying. Okay, they're gonna go Allure. Yep, and they scoop here. Good games! Good games. God, this deck is so annoying. It's not good. I can tell you that this Pendulum Stun deck is not a good deck. However, it is funny when you get stuff going. Funny for, for yourself, not, not for your opponent, sadly. Your opponent just can't do anything. But yeah, that's uh this is the deck you play when you really had a bad day and you're like oh man i want to make other people like suffer instead this is the deck thank you so much for watching and don't play this